so much once again for watching this video and, and watching the past videos that we've uploaded so far. We thank you guys for the support. We are here today at F1 Auto Cars with Wei Jie. Hello. As we embark uh, on our journey to a BMW World. Now, uh, if you guys do not know about BMW World, BMW World, it's essentially a showcase of all kinds of BMWs uh, that uh, you have seen from past and present. So it's gonna be quite an interesting ride as uh, as we have a Ferrari that pulled in here. Yeah? No, in fact, it's cars from past, present, and possibly the future. Possibly the future. Possibly so the we future. have a nice car to tag along with, courtesy of F1 Auto Cars. So it's gonna be a great day ahead. This will be the car, the courtesy car from F1 Auto Cars that we'll be using today for the BMW World. A huge thanks to uh, to our sponsors. Obviously, if you haven't know by now, F1 Auto Cars is actually one of our main sponsors, so they're gonna be heavily involved with our projects. Uh, and they have actually kindly lent us this car uh, to go into the BMW world, I guess in style, which I believe it's a perfect combination uh, for BMW world. I wouldn't complain about this car at all. Um, not only that, just look at this. Mm -hmm. This is what's important right here, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna take a quick look into the car a little bit, but let's just see what the car is. It's basically a three. 20i uh, so it's got a 2 liter uh, petrol engine uh, it's got 181 brake horsepower and coincidentally this car is also for sale so if you're interested in purchasing this car look no further my friends and go inside uh, to see what is exactly happening in the showroom before we head into BMW world we thought we could preview all the BMWs that are available today so there is the seven. Five. <laughs> five. <laughs> I, it's okay. This is gonna be candid. I cannot even tell now between the five and the seven because this looks like a seven. You have to be honest. Five twenty. It looks like a. It looks like the, a the, like a seven series. The, the, the difference is the five and the seven. The set. The new seven has more chrome on the front than the five, as you can see from over there. Right. So we're gonna get there. So these are five thirty. Five twenty. Five twenty. I. 520i. <laughs> uh, there is an i three. Uh, there is a 530D and there is another 7 series over there, we're just gonna check it out. So, we're gonna jump in right into this baby. Oh, wait. So, Mr. Wei Jie, yes, our hello. resident car guy, yep. is gonna give his most humble review of right. the 5 series. So, what do you think of the 5 series, sir? Alright, firstly, welcome to the 520D. <laughs> and as of all new cars from BMW, you are surprised and you'll be welcomed by consistent efforts with luxurious quality like smooth leather, brush steels throughout the car. Now at the back seat, the only difference is there's no steering wheel in front of you. Everything is about the same, it's comfortable, it's good quality, and even this you can have your own individual control settings for the air conditioning. Woohoo! What's to complain? This is a boss talking. A boss requires all the gadgets that this guy needs, so this car is exactly perfect for you, right, Vijay? Absolutely. <laughs> Beside the car, that we just talked about is the i3. We don't have the keys to this car, but it's safe to say it's one of the most unique one of all that is here in the showroom. Um, as we all know about the i3, it is like the baby sibling of the i8. It is a hybrid car, uh, one of the more quirky looking ones over here. 725D, a diesel variant of the 7 series, which cannot be obtainable without being a selected dealer and F1 Rulkas happens to be one. Now you'll be welcomed with really quality and really attention to details of the car like quilted stitchings and even all these stereos over here leather stitching on the steering wheel obviously the 7 series is not a 7 series without the back seat this is where the 7 series truly shines you get ample leg room you get all the gizmos and the text that you expect out of the executive a large executive saloon um, you are still greeted by the diamond quilted stitchings which is truly a, a remarkable welcome into such a spectacle of a car of the 7 series and, and even best is that uh, amongst all these gizmos we have to remember that this is actually a diesel car so you are not only going to enjoy the comfort and the ride of, of this 7 series but you'll also be saving fuel at the end of the day because this is a diesel so you can easily go into like 20, 20, 20 to 25 kilometer per liter range in such a huge car like this I think it's absolutely perfect. Guys, and the car is so good. It's reserved. So we've locked the car out, we have parked up. So 
now we shall make our way to BMW World. We shall not bore you too much with um, what we're gonna be talking about in the in the in the auditorium because I think we're gonna have a lot of problems with copyright issues. So what we're gonna do is just gonna leave you to some beautiful footages of what we'll be seeing at the BMW BMW World. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. coverage for BMW World. Um, this is the second time personally that I've uh, gone to the event and I think this has so far been the best one yet. I think the highlight of the day for me is uh, basically the M2 competition pack and the BMW M850i now. Uh, I, I think I was just too blown away at that gear lever. I, I couldn't stop <laughs> playing with it. The gear lever is I think crystal um, if, if I'm wrong in any way, please please guide me on that, but I think it looks like crystal to me. And of course, the M2 competition pack was just crazy. That carbon budge, the, the hood budge they usually get out of the M3 and the M4 is now in carbon fiber. And uh, that, 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 that gold look on the wheels completed with the black paint finish, I think it's just perfect. And of course, there are plenty of other cars to check out from. There was Mini, of, of course, if you've seen it earlier in the, in the, in the B-roll. And of course, we also saw a few of the um, of the mid-range BMWs, the, the X1s, the X4s, the X3s, and, and so on and so forth. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the content that we have put up for BMW World. And a huge thanks as well to F1 Autocast for loaning us this BMW 320 now, which is parked up right in my apartment. Um, so if you want to learn more about the F1 Autocast brand, feel free to actually pop um, pop under the link below and, and check out their website and their Instagram to know more about the products that they sell and, and their services. Um, yeah, they've been kindly uh, looking at us this 320 for, for the past few days and we couldn't be more thankful. So give it a thumbs up if you like this video and continue to subscribe to our channel for more contents to come. Bye.